Tolliver creating this time. Rebound by Sanders pays off. Yeah, but just the aggressiveness of Christy Tolliver and the attack, the penetration created. Well done with the miss. Quickly, this is Atkins who could play at a very fast pace and found Sanders. Uh, pace is so important in this game, Pam. I think it's a pivotal piece. You look at Washington, walks the ball up. No matter what the circumstance, a woman getting up blocked by Sanders. Play right now. We talked about pushing the pace. They've had a tough travel schedule, really tough game against the Lynx, so got to run on them. Thank you, Elena. They're still fighting through mono, and so they are both trying to do everything they can to stay fresh through the travel, stay healthy, including cryotherapy, acupuncture. Six who would go to Atlanta if they win this game. Cloud. Triple. Cloud. So the converse of what Ryan Agler wanting to cut it to a 10 point deficit. And Natasha Cloud continues. That is her third three of the evening. Cloud, a second round draft pick out of St. Joseph's a few years ago. And the Mystics are rolling. Wow. Dishes to Sanders. And her game is just. And that's something that both Deladon and Tolliver have talked about all season is getting that third score. Somebody forgot about Ariel Atkins. And they think one of the strengths of this team is it could. Sanders with the block. Her third of the night. Much of what Phoenix does revolves around the ball in Diana's hands, and she took care of it. She found great opportunities for her teammates and scored at a high rate. Sanders, I think, was a little surprised she was that wide open. You don't often see Hagumake get that upset. Sanders from the baseline. Atkins decides to pull back. Smart play by the rookie. Sanders, 7 for 11 from the floor. His biggest margin of victory all season. And they do it against Los Angeles.